It's almost midday in Banju. Here at the press headquarters, cubbies and dozens of journalists are gathering. They are here to receive training. 22 years under Yaya Jame's rule meant a limit to press freedom. Hundreds of journalists were reportedly killed and others forced into exile. Sana Kamara, then a newspaper journalist, fled to neighboring Senegal, only returning after Adama Baro was sworn in. Um, I left the Gambia because I, I, I got arrested multiple times by the government of the Ayagame. In 2010, I got arrested and in connection with the story we wrote, we wrote about the coup attempt. In 2014, I got arrested because I was investigating some human rights abuses. In 2014, I got arrested because I was reporting on human trafficking. So altogether, I think the environment was not conducive for me to stay. So that's why I left to go into exile in 2014. Unlike other journalists, Pape Saine, the manager of the newspaper The Point, chose to remain in the Gambia. He was tried four times during Jame's tenure. Uh, it, was, uh, it wasn't an easy task uh, to survive in the Gambia because Gambia, uh, the atmosphere was not conducive, conducive. It was not conducive for the press uh, because of the draconian laws. But I believe in God. I love my job. I love my country. It was why I didn't go uh, overseas like others. Things may seem to have returned to normalcy, but many journalists remain skeptical about whether the freedom of press will be upheld. They now hope the new president will play his part in ensuring a strong fourth estate. The way the government started, we are not happy. Because when you get, you want to see Barona as a problem. In all these ministries, there is no public relation officer. There is no PR in any of these ministries. So it's a sin system of damage. So we need to address it as soon as possible before it, it go alert. Or it, 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 we can't get to it. The president is going on the tour that there's no independent uh, the radio station or the media house. So we need to be careful and one for the, pres the present government. As far as Gambia speak with one voice and Gambia has decided, he should decide for the Gambia media because we are struggling a lot. After taking power, President Adama Baru had promised press freedom for the Gambian media. He'd also appreciated the role played by the mainstream media and social media during the struggle for change in the tiny West African country. And if this promise is anything to go by, it will be a real step forward for media in the West African country. Leslie Marungu, CGTN.